Cool, and where would we be? Where would we be without no. our synthetic clothes? Without our synthetic clothes. Sorry, your, your shout, Mark. I'll say it again. Starving to death like we're wearing today. Without our synthetic clothes. Sorry, your, your shout, Mark. I'll say it again. Starving to death like we were in 1942 when the Germans tried to stop our shipping bringing us food. We don't grow our own food. So, you, are, are those memories still alive in your mind there, Margaret? Definitely, definitely. I was hungry all the time. Okay. Red, not bombs, eh? Red, not bombs. That's a great scarf you got there, Margaret. It's a symbol of a struggle. The, uh, yeah, the Palestinian yeah. scarf. Yeah. Well, it's white, that's why I wear it. White. Yeah, that's like right. Uh, this is the Peruvian hat for Peruvian hat. Peruvian. That's, that's a nice hat. It's very nice. Oh, it's good. You, you guys are doing a great, uh, great work here. We support every struggling people, don't we? There's always the little buggers who get beaten up by the big ones, isn't it? And it ain't bloody fair, is it? Yeah. Bullying, isn't it? What have you got Holland on your hat for? On Holland? Because I was, I was in Holland and I was very cold. And I needed a, uh, a beanie, so I went and uh, I bought it when I was in Holland. Why don't you say Netherlands? What's that, sorry? Netherlands. Uh, Netherlands, yeah. Netherlands. Netherlands, Netherlands, sorry. Holland is so, a Holland is a small part. Okay. Do you know that? No, I'm not, no, I'm not too sure of Holland's history. What well, we call it? It's the Netherlands. Netherlands. The Netherlands. Ne Nether. T-H. Nether. Nether. Okay. Netherlands. I feel like I'm at school again. <laughs> are we are at school. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I have Stop a, learning, do we? That's we? right. I it's have good. a friend in Holland. And during the war, he was 18 years old and he lived under the floorboards for two years. How, how, how old were you during the war, Margaret? I'm not saying. Not <laughs> she was 72 during the war. 72. She's now 126. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't she aged well? This She's is what she did well. with a righteous good life, you see. Yeah? She's doing well. Well, it's been a pleasure. I'm sorry I gave away your secret, Margaret. <laughs> you don't have to call me Don't believe Margo. a word he says. You don't call me Margaret. My name is Margo. Margo. Ma Margo. Is yeah. it? Margo. Really. <laughs> well, it's, it's, a, it's a pleasure meeting both of you. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Give our love to the people. Okay. That's that Blake there I was speaking to. There's a poster here. He's um, in the newspapers as well. Brian has been here since 2001, camping out. I'm uh, now at the Imperial Museum uh, here in London. It's a showcase of um, uh, military items and the exhibitions of um, Britain's military campaigns. Just outside here, got these uh, Huge guns which were on uh, warships. Let's check these out. They're absolutely massive. Um, they were both um, built around 1915 and they were decommissioned uh, around 1960. Uh, they saw, um, one of them saw action against uh, the Turks. In 1920, when I uh, having a war uh, with Greece, and both um, seen action in World War Two. These are the shells that they fire, which they come up to my chest, actually my shoulders. Huge fuckers, that's for sure. Wouldn't want to be a receiving end of one of these. And I'll continue my little uh, walk here to the front just to see uh, the firing mechanism of the uh, this big cigar. 
very well um, restored. Over there looks like a um, piece of a wall from a Berlin Wall, which was torn down in the 90s to um, reunite uh, East and West Berlin, which saw the uh, reunification of uh, Germany or Deutschland. section of uh, next to the Brandenburg Gate which is uh, main gates in Berlin kind of like a uh, an Arc de Triomphe where you can walk underneath them these here were different signs these are originals of um, the wall. These here are all objects of soldiers who survived um, enemy bullets and they kept these as souvenirs. This here is a, uh, a Bible which has been torn apart by a bullet. It's come in and out of it. These here are coins. This is um, Turkey's involvement in the World War One. This is a uh, old Turkish flag from World War One. Uh, Turkish um, guns and rifles, bayonets. This post is his bonds issued by the Turkish government to buy weapons for war. And this is a uh, mobilization poster. Turks back then uh, used to speak Arabic. Turkish military um, was financed and, and um, advised by the German military and government as they were allies previous to the war. This is a, a old uh, map showing the lands that used to hold. As can be seen, Lebanon and Syria and Palestine didn't exist, it was just all one country. There's um, Halib or Aleppo as they call it in English, Beirut, Damascus, all as one country. This is a Turkish uh, motor show. These here are letters written by Allied soldiers in the Gallipoli campaign. It's a uh, Turkish uh, knife. It's an Allied um, uniform of a soldier who died, he was wounded in the back, still got blood stains. These are uh, Turkish grenades. It's a uh, 
Turkish military uniform and a uh, badge issued to all servicemen in the Turkish army. And this is a biscuit issued to Allied soldiers. It was that hard and tough that they actually rode on it. It was much easier to ride on it than actually eat it. And this was one of those biscuits. This um, death mask here is of Heinrich Himmler, who was head of the SS um, in Nazi Germany. Uh, he was responsible for the extermination um, of political prisoners and people in concentration camps, including all, um, all Jews, gypsies, homosexuals, and people against um, Hitler's rule. This is his death mask, which was uh, made out of plaster after he committed suicide after World War II. It's Heinrich Himmler. And these uh, letters here are official letters written by Heinrich Himmler and his chief of staff um, officially uh, describing that um, how to um, deal with the Jews and all the prisoners. And this letter here was the official letter um, explaining that um, all Jews and would now have to be sent to Auschwitz in uh, Poland for extermination. These are the uh, uniforms that the Jews would have had to wear when they were at Auschwitz or the concentration camps. These are uh, Israeli badges um, used um, during the Arab-Israeli wars. This is an Israeli army uniform. This is an Arab uh, uniform of the um, Jordanian army and the headdress. And uh, rifles used by Arabs during those wars. Next morning, Royal Marine Commandos and the Royal Tank Regiment landed on the beaches to the north of Port Said and moved inland to link up with the Paras and hold the west bank of the Suez Canal. French forces took the east bank of the canal and the southern flank of Port Said. Reinforced by a second air and seaborne landing, the Paras and Royal Marine this is an actual Oscar award um, given to a, uh, a director of a documentary made of D-Day landings from uh, footage um, uh, taken on a day and from captured German footage. These signs here are original signs um, from Jerusalem in uh, 1918. Thank you.